As we begin the service this evening, I ask that you please stand and join in singing hymn number 290. Please let us pray. Grieving God, on the cross your son embraced death, even as he had embraced life, faithfully and with good courage. Grant that we who have been born out of his wounded side may hold fast to our faith in him, exalted and may find mercy in all times of need. Amen. Oh. 
This evening's service is a series of scripture readings followed by um, us as a congregation singing one hymn. And if you're following along in the hymnal, it's verses one, two, four, and five. It's not a mistake that three was skipped. Jesus prayed, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And at noon, the sky became extremely dark, and that darkness lasted three hours. At three o'clock, Jesus ground, groaned out of the depths, crying loudly, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Jesus, seeing that everything had been completed so that the scripture record might also be complete, then said, I'm thirsty. A jug of sour wine was standing by. Someone put a sponge soaked with the wine on a javelin and lifted it to his mouth. After he took the wine, Jesus said, it's done, complete. Bowing his head, he offered up his spirit. Now by now it was noon. The whole earth became dark, the darkness lasting three hours, a total blackout. The temple curtain split right down the middle and Jesus called loudly, Father, I place my life in your hands. And then he breathed his last.
Let us pray. Oh God, as we reflect upon the cross, the crucifixion, and the words that Jesus spoke from the cross, may they penetrate our hearts and our minds. May we embrace the cross, embrace the crosses that each of us carry, and pray that resurrection will come for each of us. For it is in your name we pray. Amen. Jesus cried out, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. One day there was a man by the name of Raving Bird sitting in my office. He was a Native American. He was there with his sister and brother-in-law. And his sister told me that he had just been paroled from prison for manslaughter. And that the only way they would parole him is if he had some place to go and live. We took him in on the condition that he would meet with our pastor every week. And they got up and left. And there I sat face to face with Raving Bird. So I said to Raving Bird, we had a, a lot of land, about five acres. I said to Raving Bird, he didn't want to talk. He was angry. I never saw anyone so angry. I never saw anyone that didn't want to be where he was. You could see it all over his face. And I didn't know what to say to him other than, you look like you've lost your medicine. And he looked at me and he said, you know the way of Native American? I said, not really. I said, but you have lost your medicine. And then he began to tell me his story. And part of the story was that he was raised in a foster home in which they tried to convert him to be Christian. And he didn't want that. He wanted to be Native American, practice his own spirituality. And they told him he couldn't do that. And so he said, I am Native American and I want to practice my own faith. And I said, fine. I said, you know, there's a scripture that talks about Elijah and Elisha. When he was taken up to heaven, he t said to Elijah, or Elijah said to Elijah, I want to have a double portion of your spirit. And he looked at me and he said, you mean I can have two spirits? I said, no, it's all one spirit. It's the great spirit. They're the same. And then he told me, I've never had a vision. I've been on a vision quest. I've never had a vision. I taught him a very simple prayer and told him to go out, find a place in the lawn near a tree and sit and meditate and pray. And so he went out, sat. He was there. He was gone for about an hour and he came back and he said, I've, I've got a vision got a vision. And I said, what was it? He said, I was at the foot of the cross. I saw Jesus. And Jesus said to me, Father, forgive him. He knows not what he does. When the soldiers pierced Jesus in the side with a lance, blood and water flowed from Jesus. Bishop John Chrysostom wrote about this, about 174, 177, from early antiquity, that the mystery of the blood and water was baptism in Eucharist, the cup of salvation. And I quote, from those, these two sacraments, he says, the church is born from baptism, the cleansing of water gives rebirth, renewal through the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Eucharist, the wine, the blood, flows from Jesus' side that Christ fashioned the church. And then Chrysostom goes on to write, Christ fashioned the church as Eve came from the side of Adam. Now, don't get into all that. It's not about that. 
from the side of Adam, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, as Christ is nourished from the mother's blood and milk, as a child is nourished from the mother's blood and milk, so too Christ nourishes with his own blood and the milk of the word those him he hath given, given life, given his life for. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. The day came for Raving Bird to be baptized. He wanted to take the Christian name Mark for his life. And there in the congregation, there was a woman by the name of Marty. Now, if anyone on God's face of this earth that had a prophetic consciousness, this woman did. She knew things. She was able to discern things. It was amazing. And when Raving Bird and his Native American attire family came forward, she got up and said, Pastor, may I have permission to speak? And I said, yes. And she walked down to where we were gathered around the baptismal font. And she said, I want to share a vision I had of Mark, or, or Raving Bird. I said, what was it? He was before the cross. And the voice of Jesus spoke to him and said, Father, forgive him. He, know, he knows not what he does. In that moment, Mark was baptized. And when he was baptized, he went to the floor and laid there. And out of the side of Jesus poured water and blood. And Raving Bird became Mark. Amen. Judy. Tremble, tremble, 
trembled. Were you there when they pierced you in the side? Were you there when the sun refused to shine? me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when the sun refused to shine? me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer of the New Zealand. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. And the hurt we absorb from one another, forgive us. In the times of temptation and test, Strengthen us. From the trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory and power that is love, now and forever. Amen. We will now leave in silence, and I will remain. If anyone would like to pray or have have me pray with you, please feel free to come. I will be available for you. Go in peace in silence. <laughs>